What's up guys, Cody here with another video for you guys today, and today I'm going to be doing a 2023 update on my entire autograph collection. So this video is going to be pretty lengthy, I'm sure, because uh, I do have a lot of stuff. <laughs> now, uh, keep in mind, uh, some of the stuff that I'm going to show you, I'm going to have to show you in photos. Uh, because they're packed up in poster tubes and stuff like that. So I'm not going to forget about those. I have shown them off before in videos, but they're just not up on the wall in the house because they have better things up on the wall. Um, yeah, I pick and choose what I actually put on display because there's just some, there's things that I have that are cool, but then there are things that are better. And I just, I want to present those things uh, the best way possible. So this is my autograph collection as of 2023. And I hope you guys enjoy, so let's check it out. So first thing we're going to start off with is the two Funko Pops that I have signed right here. So this is Jeff Dunham. Of course, I am a big fan of Jeff Dunham. I loved his, um, you know, original um, specials that he did, like Spark of Insanity was my first one. So, uh, yeah, I had to get Jeff Dunham's autograph, and he signed it in uh, purple right here, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see there's Peanut in the background. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome to have... Uh, his autograph and then another comedian right here they have of course is Gabriel Iglesias right here so Fluffy himself right there so you gotta always love having uh, Funko Pops I guess are like the newest thing to try to get signed uh, but these are the only two that I have because uh, they both sold these on their website at one point and I had to get them because I think this is the only way I'm ever going to get their signatures. So yeah, those are the two Funko Pops we have uh, that uh, I wanted to show off to you guys. So I do have some uh, Blu-rays here that are actually signed. I'm going to go over each one of them real quick with you guys. So here is uh, a Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Blu-ray signed by Kevin Smith. This was actually my first Kevin Smith autograph and I have I believe a total of three <laughs> right now because I also have a poster for this which i'll show you guys once i get into the poster section of you know doing this video but yeah kevin smith signed this blu-ray right here for jay and silent bob strike back so that's that's pretty awesome and then next up we have uh tommy wiseau from uh you know of course the room fame um i i ended up getting this off his website and he of course signed it uh, personalized it right there but uh, very short like few months later I actually ended up meeting him at LA Comic Con so I got a poster as well which you can see in this photo but it's still pretty cool to have uh, a blu-ray I guess of the movie signed by him right there so there that is right there and next up we have this blu-ray here of Mortal Kombat the original 1995 movie uh my friend wet movie one uh helped me uh, obtain this when he went to an event uh a while ago i believe in like 2016 or 2017 and uh he ended up getting the director paul ws anderson uh to sign this as well as lyndon ashby who played um johnny cage chris kismaza who played scorpion and robin Shu, who ended up playing Liu kang in the movie as well there are signatures I would like to add to this at some point, um, but uh, only time will tell. But I have it in a little protective case uh, for display purposes right here. And uh, I'm, I'm just really happy to have, you know, from one of my semi-favorite uh, movies that I grew up with when I was a kid. I can't really say that this is like a, a really good movie, but it's always fun to go back to. I did grow up with it, um, but it is really cool to have, you know, their autographs in my collection right there. And then lastly, the next one right here is this Blu-ray right here. This is a Comic-Con 2016 exclusive for the movie Deadpool. And uh, I have this in a really nice protective sleeve as well. And it is signed by Ryan Reynolds right here, which is pretty cool. I never thought I'd actually have Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool himself's autograph, which is pretty awesome. So I had to you know, snag this in some way or form. You see there's a Comic-Con sticker right there. But yeah, he did sign a handful of these and also signed an exclusive VHS tape that they sold there, which is a lot more rare. But either way, I wanted to have a really nice uh, signature from Ryan Reynolds on display right there. 
So there is that. All right, guys, so next up here, I have another Blu-ray that is signed by Sutomu Kitagawa, who was uh, the Millennium Godzilla suit actor. Uh, so yeah, I got Godzilla's, uh, <laughs> Godzilla's autograph right here. Uh, he was at Power Morphicon 2016. And uh, yeah, I had to bring the, you know, Godzilla stuff here. I, I love Godzilla. I have every single one of the movies and I think it's pretty cool that I was able to get, you know, his autograph right here. Of course, this is back when I was an earlier collector of autographs. If I had known any better, I probably would have gotten a Godzilla 2000 poster signed by him. But you know what? Uh, I'm very happy with this regardless, but still very cool to have this Blu-ray signed by him. All right, guys, next up we have here is the USS Enterprise, and this is signed by Mr. William Shatner. And very rarely do I actually get toys signed. Uh, if I could think of something that like be, might closely resemble a prop that might be easy to display, um, that would be as my extent. I mostly get like eight by tens or posters signed. And um, I, I, you know what, Will, William Shatner is, you know, pretty big name to a lot of people. You, of course, he's 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 Captain Kirk, man. Uh, and I thought the best thing to get him to sign would be, you know, the uh, the starship that he you know captained, you know. Um, and this is it right here. So I think this is a pretty good representation of Shatner and uh, you know his legacy in Star Trek. I, I really do think this is really great to have. Uh, if anybody has any kind of recommendations, because I know there's a lot of autograph collectors out there. Um, I honestly don't really have the specs for this, but if you guys have something like this signed, um, what are you displaying it in? And can you send me a link for uh, me to be able to display this somehow in like a case? Because I don't want it to collect dust or anything like that, but I do want to be able to you know, keep it safe. But I figured I would show it to you guys on camera right here. There is William Shatner's signature right there. And that's pretty cool. I'm very happy to have this. And next up, I want to show you guys some of the photos of things that I can't pull out right now that's in my collection. This is a autographed photo from Larry Houston, uh, who did a lot of production stuff and also, I believe, a lot of drawing. Uh, he did some really interesting things with X-Men the Animated Series. So I just wanted to kind of throw this in here, as well as the two Ninja Turtles posters that I had signed by the first movie poster was signed by Judith Hogue who I met at a convention, uh, and also the second one was signed by um, Kevin Eastman. He also did a sketch of the Shredder, and also uh, the the suit actor uh, for Shredder in uh, Ninja Turtles 2. I forgot what his name was. That's Francois Sh uh, Cho, I think what his name was. All right, guys, so let's come over here to this section right here. I have this really nice poster uh, representing Inspector Gadget, which is one of my favorite childhood movies. And if you can see right here, we have this 8x10 that I put in here that is, in fact, signed by Matthew Broderick. I know it's kind of hard to see because, you know, of course, it is Simon Black Sharpie, but there is that signature right there. And uh, as someone who is clearly an obsessed fan of this movie, uh, and, you know, I, I can't help myself. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I think it's pretty cool that I have Matthew Broderick's autograph and it actually is represented very well in this, you know, poster right So here. this is the poster that I mentioned earlier that I have signed for Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This is a 27 by 40 and it's signed by both Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes right there. So uh, I wanted to have something really big to represent some of my favorite movies right here and having this signed is pretty amazing. All right, some of the other stuff that I have here that uh, is in my uh, my bedroom, we have this uh, photo signed by Sean Schimmel, or Schimmel. I can't pronounce his name for the life of me. He was the voice of Goku in Dragon Ball Z. And then over here, we have Chris Sabat, who voiced uh, you know, many slew of characters in Dragon Ball Z, including Vegeta and Piccolo. So that's pretty awesome. And then I have some other Jay and Silent Bob, Kevin Smith, Jason Mew's autographs right here on a Blunt Man and Chronic set of figures when I went to meet them back in 2022. They we went to go uh, see uh, Kevin Smith and Jason Mew's, which is pretty awesome. And below that, we have this poster. I feel like I'm only the only weirdo that would have something like this. But this is 
for uh, the Mask, the animated series. And it is signed by Rob Paulson, who voiced Stanley Ipkiss and uh, the mask in this, which is pretty awesome. This is a promotional little poster right here that I got framed. And then down here we have um, Kurtwood Smith, who played Red Foreman in that 70s show, as well as Clarence Boddicker in RoboCop. So that's pretty awesome uh, right there. Next we have Dan Castellaneta, uh, who voiced Homer Simpson in The Simpsons right there, as well as many other characters. Uh, this one right here was a really nice one uh, to get. Wally Wingert, who, uh, <laughs> interesting story with this. Um, I wasn't expecting to go have this experience with him, but he, he invited me over to his house and we went to go see his Andy Kaufman collection because he has a really amazing Andy Kaufman collection and I'm a big fan of Andy Kaufman. So we went to dinner and he brought this uh, little eight by 10 that he signed for me. Um, says to Cody from one Andy fan to another, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, I guess he was uh, Andy slash Tony Clifton in like a, a biography of some sorts for uh, E! Hollywood. And uh, he signed that for me. So I have that over here. Next up, we have um, Herbie Baez, who played Roland, the Green Beetleborg in Big Bad Beetleborgs. This is actually my design right here that I did. For those of you guys that do not know, I'm a graphic designer. So I had to do something interesting uh, to represent that. Uh, so he signed that right there in silver and personalized it. Next up, we have Stan Lee. You know, the man, the myth, the legend. I right hear pretty much the face of Marvel Comics as well as what we know today. Uh, Stan Lee right there. Got this at LA Comic-Con at one point. And then we have Paul Freeman, who played Ivan Ooze in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie right here. So that's pretty cool. I have been trying so hard to get him to sign a poster that I have, but uh, I think that's going to be a dead issue, um, unfortunately. But at least I have his autograph right there, which is pretty cool. And next up we have, you guys can't tell right there, that is Cal Dodd, the voice of Wolverine in X-Men animated series. So that's that's something that I was really excited to get. I also didn't know he was the voice of Slappy the Dummy in the original Goosebumps series. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Uh, a little, little known fact right there. I also have this VHS for Beetleborgs right here. My original VHS. And it is signed by Billy Forrester who played Flabber. And he did a little sketch too. Uh, Flabber in Big Bad Beetleborgs. This guy right here. So, Joker Jay Leno. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. And then up here we got some posters. So, Pokemon, the first movie, is a childhood favorite of mine. And uh, I'm still working on this. I need to get Eric Stewart, who voiced Brock and James. But I have Rachel Lillis, who was Misty, Jesse, and Jigglypuff in the movie. We have Veronica Taylor, who was the voice of Ash. And arguably the best signature on here. Uh, Jay Getty, a.k.a. Philip Bartlett, the voice of Mewtwo from this movie. And he did a really nice, amazing quote right there that I'm very happy with. And then up in the top left corner, we have Tara Sands, who was Clefairy and Bulbasaur. So, yeah, this, this poster is one of my favorite signed posters right here. And next up, we have a Goofy movie. This is signed by Bill Farmer, who voiced Goofy. And then Jason Marsden, who voiced Max in the movie right there. So that's an original poster. I'll move to the right over here. We have a Batman Beyond poster signed by Will Friedle and the late, great Kevin Conroy. So I am really happy with this poster as well. Very cool. Over here at the door, I have this uh, signed uh, Jim Cummings signed a uh, Darkwing Duck figure right here that's personalized. So there's that, which is very cool. This is one of my pride and joys right here. I've been working on since uh, since 2016 when I went to Power Morphicon my first year. And this is signed by pretty much most of the cast of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And uh, I'll go over right here. We have David Fielding, 
who played Zordon, Sandy Selner. She was the suit actress for Alpha 5. Then we have Amy Jo Johnson, Kimberly the Pink Ranger, Catherine Sutherland, who played uh, Catherine uh, the Pink Ranger, the late Jason David Frank, who played Tommy the White Ranger and the Green Ranger in the series, Paul Schreier, who played Bulk, Jason Narvey, who played Skull, and the late Robert Axelrod, who I was working with at Power Morphicon right there, Carla Perez, who, after they ran out of Japanese footage for Rita, <laughs> took the place of Rita Repulsa. She was also one of the, um, I guess, human forms of the Skugs in VR Troopers. So for Carl Zichter's uh, little henchman right there. Then we have Austin St. John, who played Jason the Red Ranger in Power Rangers. We have the voice of Rita Repulsa, Barbara Goodson right there. And lastly, we have... Kerrigan Mahan, who was the voice of Goldar. So obviously I have some signatures I need to work on, still getting David Yost. I need to get Steve Cardenas, Karen Ashley, and then uh, Johnny Young Bosch and Walter Jones, uh, and among some other ones, uh, Richard Horowitz and stuff like that. I need to get a lot of people on here, actually like six more signatures and it's done. But that right there is pretty, pretty damn cool to represent in my little nostalgia room. And we move over to this corner of the room right here. We have Peter Cullen and Frank Welker, the voices of Optimus Prime and Megatron in the original Transformers. And you know, Peter Cullen's also voiced uh, Optimus and Transformers in the you know all the movies, even the most recent one. So that's pretty damn cool to have. Uh, on top of Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes, I also have uh, Brian O'Halloran who played Dante and of course, Jeff Anderson, who played Randall in Clerks right there. Down below here, this is a um, Scary Movie ghost face mask signed by Dave Sheridan, who played Doofy in Scary Movie. So uh, I love that I have that <laughs> next to that. My most recent autograph uh, thing that I got right here when I was out in Colorado, uh, you know, Jamie Kennedy, who played Randy in Scream. And we have uh, Skeet Aldrich, who played Billy Loomis, and Matthew Lillard, who played Stu Mocker. So, uh, of course, I want to eventually finish this. It's pretty cool. Uh, another poster above it right there. This is a Flash TV series poster signed by Grant Gustin, who played Barry Allen, The Flash. Of course, that series just ended, but that was pretty awesome to obtain as well. All right, guys, so the last bit of things here I have are going to be 8x10s and a few signed DVD, CDs, and books here. So we're going to go over the little small stuff real quick. Here we have, uh, this is signed by Tim Allen, and I only just recently got this finally confirmed that this was signed by him. There's something going on, I guess, since the pandemic, uh, because I do uh, a lot of fan mail, but I don't do fan mail unless I know it's legit. Um, so uh, Tim Allen used to and I use this really strongly, used to sign people's stuff through the fan mail, through his company, Boxing Cat Productions. And uh, apparently the cutoff point was 2020 when the pandemic hit. I got this signed back in 2015. So it is really cool to know now that I have Tim Allen's signature. Um, I probably should have gotten it signed on something other than a DVD, but... Um, Again, this was my earlier days of getting autographs and stuff like that. So this is Tim Allen's autograph right there. And then this is when I went to go meet uh, Joey Fatone from NSYNC. Uh, he signed this CD right here for no strings attached right there. And uh, probably one of the coolest ones I have here. This is one of my original Goosebumps books and I, I sent it off to a friend of mine and R.L. Stein, the, uh, the creator of Goosebumps and, you know, the author of the books, signed this right here. So yeah, I got R.L. Stein's autograph right there. Pretty awesome. We now interrupt this program to bring you a full, like, three to four minutes of me talking about Batman Forever. <laughs> as much as I try to joke about it, but this is my signed 8x10 uh, that uh, Jim Carrey ended up signing right here. Um, and this is this is legit. I got a Riddler uh, uh, photo signed by Jim Carrey right here. And 
you know, I got a photo of him actually signing this. So if you guys want to, you know, get rid of all doubts, there it is right there. Jim Carrey's signature. And to go along with that, we have Val Kilmer's autograph uh, right there at the bottom. And on this Batman 8x10, I got to clean these. They've been like sitting on a, on a shelf for such a long time. And then, of course, I have this Val Kilmer, uh, Chris O'Donnell, like, duo signed 8x10 right here, which is pretty awesome. So that is, there was only a minute of me talking about Batman forever, so I think, I think we're good there. Um, then this one right here, this is signed by Willem Dafoe, the Green Goblin right there from the first Spider-Man movie. And behind this, I'm pretty sure, yes. I have another one in here. Take this out real quick. I have this signed by Chris Carter, the creator of the X-Files right there. So there is his autograph as well. We got that. I need to get frames for these because uh, I'm so all over the place when it comes to autographs. And we have right here, this is a uh, photo signed by Kel Mitchell, it says, to Cody, welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order right there? So I got that photo signed. Eventually I'm hoping that I can meet him because I'm sure he's gonna be doing uh, autograph signings in the future because he's got the sequel to Good Burger coming out. So it'd be pretty cool to get a poster signed by Kel Mitchell. Uh, this one's signed by, I'm gonna butcher this name because I always do, uh, uh, David Delstmachen. Uh, or Dust Moshin or something like that. He was a polka dot man in uh, James Gunn's Suicide Squad, but he was in a bunch of other things. Uh, this photo in particular, I believe, is from when he was in the show Gotham, uh, which is one of my favorite, you know, uh, TV series that I used to watch all the time. And uh, he was also Schiff, the, you know, schizophrenic in Goth or not Gotham, uh, The Dark Knight, when Harvey was flipping the coin. So that he was in that as well, which is pretty awesome. I got another Larry Houston signed item right here for G.I. Joe. Uh, I'm pretty sure he did some kind of producing for this, uh, for the show as well. So there is that right there. All right, guys. So the last thing here is the black book right here that I've had and has been sitting on a shelf and has gotten some wear and tear over the years. But uh, let me go ahead and pull you guys, scoot you up a little bit right here so you guys can see things a little bit better, hopefully. But this is an Itoya folder right here. So this, this is a eight by 10 signed by Richard Mull, who voiced Two-Face in Batman the Animated Series right there. And then right next to him is John Glover, uh, who voiced the Riddler. He was also Lionel Luther and that really crazy scientist at the beginning of Batman and Robin uh, when he killed Poison Ivy. Next up, we have the very first Batman, Adam West right here. So, got a black and white photo signed by him. It's personalized as well. Then we have my little Gotham section. We got Sean Pertwee who played Alfred, uh, Cam Cameron Bike and Dova. Uh, this is when they were wishing me a happy birthday and stuff like that. So uh, they signed a bunch of, you know, happy birthday photos for me, including um, David Mazous right here. So, hey Cody, or to Cody, happy birthday, man. Thanks for watching right there. It's pretty awesome. And of course we have uh, Robin Lord Taylor who played Oswald Cobblepot, AKA the Penguin in Gotham. And we have Cameron Monaghan who played Proto Joker. <laughs> like a, a prototype Joker uh, in the show. And I do not know why this is ripping up here, but not the photo, the, the folder. I'm gonna have to get me new folders, I think at some point. Um, but he was also Cal Castus in the new Star Wars um, games that have come out recently. And we have Ernie Reyes Jr. right here. Lou Ferrigno, Incredible Hulk. And we have all of the voice actors from the 1980s slash 1990s Ninja Turtles series right here. So this is Cam Clark, he was Leonardo right there. And we have 
um, Townsend Coleman, who was Michelangelo, Barry Gordon, who was Donatello, and lastly, we have another Rob Paulson right here, signed by him, and, it, and he was Raphael. Uh, we got Peter Weller, Robocop right there, which is pretty awesome. I really am happy to have that. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, Doc Brown, as well as Judge Doom from uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Got another Veronica Taylor right here, who voiced Ash in Pokemon. Let's see. And we have Tobin Bell, Jigsaw from the Saw franchise. So I got this back in 2016. And we got Robert England, Freddy Krueger. Let me try to get through these. Another Jamie Kennedy right there. This is one of my other favorite horror ones right here. This is Tim Curry. This is Beckett certified. So yeah, Tim Curry right there. And we got the Boy Meets World cast. So uh, we got uh, Ryder Strong, who was uh, Sean. And then we have Mr. Feeney. I don't know why he signed it in blue, but William Daniels right there. It says, believe in yourself. Got to always have one of the most influential teachers. There's another David Dulst mocking right there. And then there's the photo of uh, Matthew Broderick signing that uh, photo I showed earlier. And we've got, um, Jesus, I forgot his name, Ray Park. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Ray Park, uh, who played Darth Maul, as well as Toad in the X-Men and Snake Eyes in the G.I. Joe stuff. Then we have Brad Hawkins, who played Ryan Steele in VR Troopers. And we got Judge Reinhold right here, who uh, played Neil uh, in the Santa Claus movies, but he was also in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I got him doing a, a photo for him doing the weenie whistle, of course. Uh, Mindy Sterling from the Austin Powers franchise. He, she was Frau. Uh, we've got uh, Gabrielle Fitzpatrick uh, from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. She was uh, Dulcia. RJ Seiler, uh, Billy the Blue Ranger in the 2017 Power Rangers movie right here. I'm going to go through all these as quick as possible. Uh, then we have Austin St. John again right there. We got Walter Jones. Latham Gaines, who was Mezagog in Power Rangers Dino Thunder right there. Hilary Shepard Turner, who played Diva Talks in Power Rangers Turbo. Another Barbara Goodson and Kerrigan Mahan right there. Christopher Cho. He was uh, multiple characters in uh, the Power Rangers and Beetleborgs franchise, but I have him as Nucus from Beetleborgs right there, one of the crustaceans. Uh, almost knocked the camera over. Um, then we have uh, Kim Crossman, who played Lorne uh, in Power Rangers Samurai. Got the cast of Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue right there, as well as my favorite ranger right here. So uh, we have Rhett Fisher, who played the Titanium Ranger. Pretty cool. Um, and then um, Justin Nemo played uh, Zane, the Silver Ranger in Space. Um, then we got uh, Mike Ginn right there. Gold Ranger. There's all these Power Ranger ones right here, pretty much. We have um, uh, Melody Perkins. Sorry, I had to think of the name. Um, for, who played Astronema in Power Rangers in Space. And of course we have it's for Cayman Lee giving you the bird. Played Andros, the Red Ranger in Power Rangers in Space. Trying to get through all these as quick as possible. I don't know what's, what these are. We'll go over those because this is literally it right here in just a second. Uh, then we do have uh, Eddie Frierson who played uh, Frax in Power Rangers Time Force. So now let's go ahead and check a look and take a look at what these are real quick. So uh, yeah, this is uh, artwork that I did for Kevin Duhaney right here, so he signed that for me. Uh, David Yost right here, Billy. Uh, Paul Schreier and Jason Narvey again. Oh, here we go. Mark Summers, the host of Double Dare and the host of Unwrapped right there. So 
yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so I'm fixing to have to go through the worst part of this process, which is putting everything back where I, where I had it. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you guys like videos like this, uh, you know, of course, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below if you guys have an autograph collection or a favorite autograph that you have, or if you have an autograph that you do want, comment down below. And as always, guys, if you like what you see, again, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button to show support, and I'll be back with more videos soon. I'll talk to you guys later.